Hello YouTube, this is Nighthill413, and in this video I'd like to present my herbal pump action shotgun. Modifications to the herbal pump action shotgun include uh, coupling, uh, front end, half inch PVC, and half inch CPVC. I created it so that the uh, front coupler can actually be removed so that if the ball blaster attachment ever needed to be put back on, it could be. I did the standard reinforcements for the plunger seal, plunger tubes, uh, plunger rod, blah blah blah. Everything with the plunger is reinforced. With the spring, I actually reinforced the, the spring trigger a little bit differently than most people do. I took the torsion spring and just inverted it. It's kind of similar to what Bad Wrench did with the, uh, the Lennard uh, shotguns. Out of the box, the Ergo Pump Action Shotgun is actually a really good blaster. It's, it's fun with the uh, whole uh, ball assembly and everything, as sad as that may seem. And it's honestly a really powerful gun, just stock, and one of the easiest mods I've ever done. I, to mod the actual gun, there really was no cutting involved, nothing. So, if someone's kind of like just starting to learn how to do things, I would actually highly recommend getting one of these, because they're simple to mod. Since I didn't do many internal mods to this gun, I decided to put more focus on the accessories for this. So I made a, a brass breech. I also decided to design, well not design, but just put together a, a little free barrel shotgun attachment using Thinwall Petchy, and using uh, these little steppins I have, which actually fit Thinwall Petchy perfectly, and they actually also fit uh, standard Nerf barrels perfectly, so you can actually make full-sized Nerf darts that fit perfectly in the barrels, as long as you don't have the air restrictors in. This is a great foam. which you can fit about nine in here. I just put six in for this uh, video. I also decided to uh, create a clip system, which this works. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but works. Not exactly going to fire it, and it falls on the floor. And I also want to make something where it would simply shoot from half inch PVC. So I actually found a uh, Three quarter inch that fits PVC perfectly. And then I actually I ordered another type of <laughs> foam that was supposed to be a standard half inch that would fit into PETG or whatnot. It fits PETG like extremely tight uh, step-ins would fit into standard CPVC. And the funny part is, it also works with half-inch half inch, uh, PVC it fires from. So it's an interesting foam. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, because I bought a couple hundred feet of it, and don't use Petchy a lot. So it should be interesting to see what I'm going to do with it. One other attachment I did was this. Some people may wonder what this is, and the true answer is nothing. It's just a bunch of PVC. But inside it is actually for an RSCB, or an inline clip. I'm sorry. Now, why did I build this giant contraption to put on top? Well, I thought it looked cool be blatantly honest and also I thought it'd be interesting to have something that just kind of 
hides how many darts you have since I'm using Pet G actually as the as the reservoir area. One other thing I did with this that is a little bit different than most inline clips is if you notice I can fire it without having to tip down the barrel. Why is this? Really, really simple fix. I added springs into the RCB for the inline clip. And the sad part is the clip or the uh, springs that I used were the very simple springs that we always, well, some people throw out when they're modding like their Mavericks or whatever, little tiny air restrictor springs. They fit perfectly in to Pedgy, and it's such a weak spring that it just has enough force to push the dart up. So if you have a couple of those laying around and you have nothing to do with them, why not make one of these? It's, a, it's actually pretty efficient. I like it. I hope those of you that watch this uh, video found at least something interesting with the mod. Thank you for watching.